against Tennessee. Only one game away from New York here. The Knicks will be back home for the next one. So important to get off on the right foot. New year, new season. These guys have done it. This is really a good team, Kevin. I mean, not only is it a good team, but it's a fun team to watch. And it's really nice to see them put it all together. This is a fun basketball team. really good one as well well they've grabbed a lot of people's interest lately for sure we're hearing a lot of talk about them and it's all for the right reasons between the fans the media they're getting plenty of attention and they deserve it they're a good squad and now the new york knicks starters up front it's carmelo anthony and tyson chandler jason kidd and jr smith man in the backcourt and it's novak in at the three and for the grizzlies the great trio in the front court: Rudy Gay, Zach Randolph, and Marcus Hull. Conley out there with Tony Allen. Well, on paper, anyway, the Knicks probably have the most intimidating front line in the NBA with Tyson Chandler, Amari Stoudemire, and Carmelo Anthony. A lot of star power there. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That is his first foul of the game. We're about one minute into the first. Outside Anthony, jacks up a three, and a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. And Steve, that trio you just mentioned, a lot of length, a lot of athleticism, Clark, a lot of skill. Yeah, they've got a good complement of players along that front line. I mean, Chandler is a terrific defender and locker room leader, and then Amari and Mello, you've got guys that really can score the ball, and they, they're free to concentrate on that. So it's a definite dynamic trio one of the best front courts in the league i think even against solid defense he's still going to try to continue to make that shot yeah no doubt i mean i wouldn't bet against him in that situation next time now here's anthony a 20 point game for him in the win against washington and he really kept his head down was drawing contact getting himself to the line played an aggressive game that was a big time help for him and his team and you look at Rudy Gay, I've really been impressed with his development as a player. Expanding his game, improving as a passer and a defender, and he's always been able to score. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Mike Woodson had a few moments to share with me. He believes the key to this game is not a complicated one. Defense. Coach said, tonight is all about getting stops. We know our points will come, but if we want to walk away with a win, we're going to have to be tenacious with our defensive effort. No easy buckets on their end, guys. Thanks, Doris. And given the scoring talent on the floor, defensive mindedness definitely a key here, guys. Any thoughts? Well, I agree, Kevin. Playing sound defense has to be their focus. If they can win the battle at that end of the floor, I think they've got a great chance to win. Well, I agree, because if they don't do that, Steve, what happens at the other end isn't going to matter. It'll be futile. Nice shot by Randolph. And when you look at Rudy Gay's development as a player, Clark, he's really grown, has he? Yeah, I think he absolutely has, Kevin. And I think having a chance to watch his team get to the second round of the playoffs while he was hurt served as good fuel for him during the offseason. And he's really come back a much better all-around player. Look at him, Memphis. They took the win in their last game against the Detroit Pistons. And with the type of defense they played that day, they were able to cause a lot of mistakes, Clark. And you know exactly what that means. I mean, causing a lot of mistakes means cashing in on those turnovers. Now here is Conley. A 17-point game for him and the win against... Oh, look out, man! The is shaking. Guys, I'm going to need just a second to get myself together here. <laughs> Leaves you speechless, doesn't it, Clark? Huh? Wow. Man, I don't blame you, Clark. That dunk was unbelievable. And for Grizzlies coach Lionel Hollins, a wealth of NBA coaching experience. Ten years as a player, over two decades in coaching. And all of his head coaching experience has come with the Grizzlies. Here is Conley. After the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Taken away by Kidd. Gives him the lead pass. And then Smith with the dunk. Well, he's known for his tendency to get hot in the blink of an eye. He'll forget he's even out there, and then all of a sudden, he's dominating the action. Yeah, he can erupt in a hurry. It makes him a very unpredictable but exciting player. You don't know which version of him you're going to get from minute to minute. And here are the Grizzlies now. 
following the score by New York. And for Wino Hollins, this is his fourth full season as a head coach. Yeah, he stepped in on an, an interim basis in three separate seasons with the Grizzlies. That's really remarkable, even going way back to their days in Vancouver. So, uh, you know, Hollins has built up a lot of equity with his organization. He's impressed them with his stability and his focus uh, and just how measured he is in his approach as a coach. I think one of the underrated coaches in this league. Boy, what a fantastic opening quarter for them. Yeah, it sure has been. Look at the lead they've jumped out to already. Impressive. Spates checked in for Mark Gasol. Conley against Smith. Rudy Gay on the wing. Pass to Allen. Cuts off the pass. It's Anthony with the drive. One second left. And in he goes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Knicks lead by 18. Live. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And a comfortable margin for the Knicks here, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I like what I've seen from this club defensively. They're forcing a lot of turnovers with their quick hands and ability to play the passing lanes. Well, you talk about quick hands, but I think it's the mindset of being aggressive and then obviously being active with the hands, tracing that ball so you can come up with deflections that may lead to steals. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play, setting the floor for the Knicks. Jason Kidd and J.R. Smith manning the backcourt. Up front, it's Carmelo Anthony and Tyson Chandler, and it's Novak in at the three, the small forward. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, Knicks coach Mike Woodson asked Amari Stoudemire to spend his summer working on developing his low post moves. Amari said, it's actually great because I've never had a coach that asked me to work on my low post game. I've been a pick and roll player my whole career. Being able to shoot the ball from outside and also have a quick first step is an advantage for me. And now to apply some low post moves will even be that much better. Kevin, you have to love the arsenal. A <laughs> scary thought. Thanks, Doris. And a smart move. I mean, if he loses some of his quickness, he can still use his strength on the low block. Gay can't hit. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, uh, they've got a chance to come back. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. Here now, the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. In third, the Grizzlies. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be scoring well at the same time. This club is really putting up big numbers. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. You know, even after Memphis made that deep run into the playoffs a couple of years ago, uh, the expectations weren't that high for them last year. I'm not sure how seriously this team is taken uh, by NBA fans and, and media members, but this is a talented group. And remember, Rudy Gay returned a year ago, so uh, that's an excellent starting five. The Knicks leading by 23. Out of bounds, Knicks ball as New York keeps possession of it. Now let's take a look at Jason Kidd and some of the numbers that he's been putting up. Sixth in steals. And he's in the top ten in terms of three-point field goal percentage. So it's really been a, a good run for him from downtown. And, Steve, I think we should take a look back at his top ten steals ranking that you mentioned a bit ago. I mean, that's impressive. This guy gets it done. Jumps the passing lanes when appropriate. But he also can pick the pocket of the ball handler, too. It did seem that they were being swept on for most of last season, but lo and behold, Clark, you know, the Grizzlies were able to finish as one of the top four teams in the Western Conference. Yep, that was a heck of an accomplishment, but unfortunately they still went down to the fifth seed Clippers in a deciding game seven in that opening round of the playoffs, Kevin. It was one of the best series of the playoffs, though, and showcased, I think, two up-and-coming teams that we'll see contending in the playoffs for years to come. He had no luck from the three-point line earlier, so maybe this one will give him some momentum. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. 
He may want to start spreading the ball around a little bit. His shot is off right now. Well, for Maurice Spates last year, a trade took him from Philadelphia to Memphis, where he played pretty well. And I think he could develop a nice niche there with the Grizzlies. A very talented scorer, just a matter of becoming more consistent at the defensive end of the floor. Shot clock at five. Conley dishes to Spates. Chandler with the steal. Smith for three. Good in the assist to Kidd. And that's now nine points for J.R. Smith. And for a Memphis team that had injuries to both Darrell Arthur and Zach Randolph, a lot of playing time opened up for Maurice Spates. And Kevin, his percentages around the rim dropped off a little bit, but there's no question that Spates has the tools to be a good player for a long time. A very effective front-line reserve because he can shoot it, he rebounds, he can get offensive boards as well. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December as you look at Memphis. And of course New York, a game and a half away. For the New York Knicks, they come in off a good outing against the Washington Wizards. And what a terrific game for their role players. Guys, uh, they had players coming off the bench and chipping in offensively. Yeah, and it was an unexpected boost, but a big one nonetheless. I mean, they didn't miss a beat. No matter what unit was on the floor, things were being done effectively. Here is Conley, right now averaging 15 points a game. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half of the game. Tipped. And here they come. There's the triple. And Anthony with the basket on Allen. That's his third foul of the game. The dish to Novak. There's the three. And the one. Gathers. Randolph can hit. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Kennedy as a gift. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Chandler with the steal. Now it's Anthony running. He can go off. Oh! oh. In schedule, we saw teams really preserving their star players in the regular season, limiting their minutes. And frankly, I think it's something that should be done every season. Going back to what Clark was just talking about, an interesting stat over the last eight years, there have been almost 100 occasions of players for the game. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Hadati's checked in. And the Knicks shooting wonderfully up to this point, 67%. You talk about Jason Kidd, Garmark, and plays the game as much with his head as he does with his body. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Up front. Over so much in the first half, guys. He's really settled down nicely since and doesn't have any turnover since the wants to play in New York. And boy, did he make the most of it. Yeah, that shooting stroke is really his meal to from. They've got it going. Nice, clean looks. Their offense seems completely out of sync here. They're on the wrong end of a big run. And then at the other end, it's been... Sometimes... Oh, no. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. Yeah, Steve and Kevin, you guys got a little miss by game. And for the Knicks, they're shooting the lights out in this building. 68% from the feet. Another miss by Conley. The Knicks on offense. They're on a 13 to... Here's Anthony. He kicks it to Smith. And a...